risk by requiring the banks to fund their activities with sufficiently stable sources of funding over a time horizon of one year in order to mitigate the risk of future funding stress was required to be introduced by the banks in India from 1st April 2020. It has now been decided to defer the implementation of NSFR by six months to 1st October 2020. Deferment of last tranche of capital conservation buffer, that is the next announcement. The capital conservation buffer, CCB, is designed to ensure that banks build up capital buffers during normal times, that is outside periods of stress, which can be drawn down as losses are incurred during a stress period. Considering the potential stress on account of COVID-19, it has been decided to further defer the implementation of the last tranche of 0.625% of CCB from March 31st, 2020 to September 30th, 2020. With regard to financial markets, that is the third part of the announcement. We are announcing one measure and this measure uh, basically assumes importance in the context of the increased volatility of the Indian rupee caused by the impact of COVID-19 on currency markets. And this relates to permitting banks to deal in offshore non-deliverable rupee derivative markets. That is basically offshore rupee NDF markets. The offshore Indian rupee derivative market, that is the non-deliverable forward market, that is NDF market, has been growing rapidly in recent times. At present, Indian banks are not permitted to participate in this market, although the benefits of their participation in NDF market have been widely recognized. The time is opposite to improve efficiency of price discovery. Accordingly, banks in India which operate International Financial Center, International Financial Service Center, IFSC banking units, that is IBUs, are being allowed to participate in NDF, in NDF market with effect from uh, June 1st, 2020. Uh, since last MPC meeting of, and let me now come to the concluding part, and uh, this is very important because there are, uh, I have attempted to give uh, some forward guidance, so I request your patience. Uh, since the last MPC meeting of February 2020, the Reserve Bank has injected liquidity of 2,80,000 crores, 2.8 lakh crore through various instruments, which is equivalent to 1.4% of our GDP. Together with the liquidity measures announced today, RBI's liquidity injection works out to about 3.2% of the GDP. The RBI, I repeat, the RBI will continue to remain vigilant and take whatever steps are necessary to mitigate the economic impact.